What's up, boys and girls, ladies and gents? Brian here with ETM 540 Clubhouse, back in the freaking shop for another episode of little old Wasteland Racer upgrades and updates and all that good freaking stuff. I apologize for the raspy voice. I just got through a nasty cold, which had been going around and for the most part, I haven't been sick for a long time, but when I got this thing, it just whooped my ass. Oh my gosh, so stay safe out there. Stay healthy. It wasn't fun, but I'm stoked to be back on my feet. I actually haven't been in here in like a week and a half. It felt like freaking months, so I just want to get right to it. We're going to do a little short episode today where we're going to get the wheel adapters, at least the front wheel adapters, built. I want them mocked up, welded in. All that good freaking stuff. We've already done the stenciling of them, the, the mock-up stuff once before. I kind of went off that a little bit. Uh, but at the same time, we still need to do all of our math problem-solving type stuff and get them all situated to where we can drill, tack weld, figure it out from there and go. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to throw you guys down uh, while I try and figure this stuff out because I'm not the greatest i'm okay i mean I'm, I'm i'm decent at it i can figure it out um uh, but yeah let's do some freaking math and let's just get right into it and stop talking and get to freaking work times the V times three plus five equals the center of gravity of mass that will encapsulate this. What would Einstein say? What would Oppenheimer say? Come on. We got this. Oh, there we go. Let's try it. Okay. All kidding aside, <laughs> as I clean up my freaking mess, I actually did struggle with the mathematicals, with the mathematics, the mathematicians of all that stuff. But um, you know, it it's find a center point, measure out your center of axles. I don't know, freaking let's go. So we're gonna jump right on the drill press and do our first one. I actually already measured it out and. Uh, just kind of did random mock-up stuff and I don't know, so long as I have my lines and my dots and my T's and my P's and my Q's, we should be good to go. So let's get on the freaking drill press and make this happen. Enough dicking around. I'm ready to freaking do this.
All right, and that's just the start. So I think I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse because I have eight more of those to go. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So anyways, you get the idea. We're gonna drill these bitches. Let's do it. So we're about halfway through the drilling process and that's just the drilling process. I'm just talking about. I'm just talking about getting the holes drilled. That's not even like the fine tuning aspect, but I had to kill the camera. I didn't expect you guys to watch the whole freaking process of drilling every single hole. So we got two of them done. I'm just gonna go ahead and drill out the rest of them. And then uh, from there, we can start getting ready to like tack some of the spacers in and stuff like that and just see what happens. So I'm going to get back on the other two. I got a process now, so hopefully it'll go a lot smoother and quicker. And then, uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next step. But geez, there's a lot of freaking drilling. Thank God for the uh, drill press, though. These things are awesome. Um, ours is just a little guy, but it's definitely saved a lot of strain and setup and all that other good stuff. So pretty pumped on it. But anyways, yeah, let's get back to it. That's about as much as I am going to drill through. We blasted through a step bit. My drill is freaking fried and super hot. And um, yeah, I think we're, we got at least enough to put one of these together. But holy crap, look at the freaking carnage. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's, oh, <laughs> this is after about uh, three hours of just drilling mayhem <laughs> uh, there's enough metal here to make a whole nother set of adapters if we freaking melt it down and <laughs> oh geez so with that what i'm gonna do now is well i'm gonna clean this freaking mess so that way we're all dialed and then uh we're gonna go ahead and sandwich these two pieces together well this one and one of the ones that's over there and uh, put our spacers together and tack weld and get all that going. And hopefully we can slap one of these bitches on there. Freaking hell yes! At least before the end of this video, I want to see one rim on a freaking hub. So let's see if we can make that happen. Thank you. 
All right. <laughs> so I just put two up, uh, plates up against each other, and I can already see where we're going to have some complications. But hey, it's all part of learning. It's all good because it can be fixed. So let me show you what we got going on. So for the most part, the big holes line up pretty good. But these little guys, <laughs> yeah, they do not. So what I should have done is I should have only done one plate and then um, went ahead and welded the spacers on and then drilled through to the other one. And we can still do that. There's just going to be extra holes. So yeah, I'm going to have to line it up based off of the holes that are the most correct, which I believe is, I guess it really wouldn't. Oh yeah, it would be this one right yeah i don't know off of one of them and then uh yeah and then make it work so anyways that's the plan <laughs> fun stuff Got that part well at least the bottom and now it's time for the fun stuff don't look at my welds don't don't, don't look at them <laughs> no, i'm just getting out of here okay yeah oh noise heat treated so far is working out. Definitely gotta fix some of the boogers. Not so much the boogers actually, it's just the wire that's hanging off there. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Oh yeah, she looks good. Look at that, there she is. Now I just got to put the other piece on and see what happens. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm doing this. It's not going to make them look any worse or better than they already are. <laughs> uh, perfect. Okay, so this is the part where we are lining up these holes and not these holes. So I'm gonna have to put you down to figure this out. I am just going to have to do attack and then hope that it stays. And why not just keep moving it around too? <laughs> yeah, it helps a lot. Oh, jeez.
So with how this is set up, I'm only going to be able to weld certain parts of the other side, which is okay. Because pretty much for the most part, once it's bolted together, the bolts hold it together as well. So if anything was to crack or break, then the bolts are still holding it on as well. So I am going to make an attempt at uh, welding up the rest of this and then we gotta drill new holes through these little guys and then we can try and bolt one up. See what happens, hopefully it'll all work out. Pretty excited about this. I really hope it works. All right, let's do it. Last bit of welds done on the other side. Let's freaking cool this biscuit off and then we'll uh, put um, or drill some new holes and then see what happens. Ooh. That is a heavy dapper. <laughs> I didn't think the metal was gonna be that thick, honestly. Not my fault. Looking good so far. So far, so good. shavings to clean up. <laughs> okay, just for the sake of the fact that I only have so much of the right hardware as well as we still need to bore out a hole for the hub assembly on the outside. I am going to assemble this on the table for the sake of mock-up and then after that, we'll just slide it on the axle, but so far so good. I mean, that went on. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a sec. All right, and that went on. So that's just to at least get it on there. And then I just have these little pieces of hardware that we can use for the rim. Oh my God, this is going together way smoother than I expected it to. <sighs> Can we do that? Just put those on. All temporary. And one. <laughs> oh, this works. I'm going to be so stoked. All right, let me take you down. Got my rim set up here. <laughs> oh, please go in. I may just have to take these off altogether. Okay, 
they're going to create more problems than they need. Permanent, permanent fixtures now. It's the sacrifices you have to make sometimes. I don't even know why I'm putting a nut on here. These things are so freaking cramped on. for poops and laughter. <laughs> well, holy freaking crap. <laughs> She's got a wheel on her. Wow. That's crazy. Oh my God, that is so warped out. <laughs> oh, but it works. It works. And after all that time, this is the first time that she's had a wheel back on her since we started this project. And it's not fully on because we still gotta bore that hole out. But holy crap, it's on there. <laughs> now I'm telling you, this thing is not straight whatsoever. But hey, going five miles an hour through the waste. Are you really gonna notice? <laughs> yeah. We may have to try a different scenario. And actually, my plan down the road is just to get some new tires for the actual wheels that came off of the uh, mini sprint, which we have a plethora of. But for now, I wanted to test my abilities, see what I can come up with, design things. I love doing this crap. It's fun. You got to push yourself. You got to do something that's out of your comfort zone. It's not healthy to just go through a routine. And I'm a freaking routine person. Let me tell you. I have a routine for everything. 
So when I have to get out of my comfort zone and do stuff like this, I freaking love it because it's stressful. It makes me anxious. I freaking sweat. I think about it at night. I have nightmares. I had a nightmare about this last night. And uh, then I do it and I'm like, holy crap, that wasn't as bad as I thought. So there you go, folks. The racer has a freaking wheel. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. But I'm done. I'm pooped. I can't possibly do any more for the day. That's it. That's all I got in me. I'm going to reassess and rethink how I'm going to finish it all off. And then, uh, you know, it isn't going to be too much. I mean, the holes aren't lining up very well. And I don't know. There's all kinds of crap going on that we got to adjust and think about and do and this and that's And we'll freaking make it happen. You know, that's how we roll. Because we only have 53 days until the event. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And speaking of the event, for those of you who know our setup from last year, we were rocking this flag at our little camp. Um, this year, we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be making our own flags to make them a little more like, you know, Wasteland approved. Because uh, I felt like this flag is rad and I freaking love that crest and I will live and die for that crest. Yet, we want to be more immersed into what we're doing out there. So I'm gonna do something a little different this year for flags. I'll show it to you when we get to that point. Um, I'll probably just end up filming it. And then, yeah, from there, um, I'm just gonna keep rocking on this. Uh, it, at this point, honestly, the next time you guys probably see it, for the most part, it'll be wrapped up. I don't think we really need to show too much more on it. So when it is on the channel again, which might be the next video and maybe a video after that. I don't know. Uh, hopefully it'll be freaking done and drivable. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see where it goes. We do have one more big project, so I, I could be wrong. We do wanna build a little tailgate thing for this. So we may do that on the next one, so we'll see. But anyways, thank you guys so much for all the love. We freaking love you guys and uh, we appreciate all the comments and everything and you guys hear from me all the time about this stuff and I can't thank you all enough honestly from a day-to-day -day basis I just always have to let you know how much we really appreciate and love every single aspect of what you guys show us so anyways I'm sitting here looking at this as I'm talking to you because I'm like wow these hubs in the front are actually different curve wall so anyways we'll see you in the next video Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I'm still getting over this cold. <laughs>
we have some stuff here, but we got to order some of it. So, yep, we got a spot here in the shop, and it's in the lineup. So be on the freaking lookout for it. Okay, all right, stop it. 